we're going to complete each conversion and there are six total conversions uh, in this video. So the first one is milliliters to liters. Well, if you think about, um, we've got kiloliters, hectoliters, uh, uh, deca, um, in this case we're talking about liters, so that's in the middle, then the D, C, and M. And this is what you have on your, um, your conversion sheet. So if we're, I, I like to use um, the decimal moving. So I start at milliliters and that's here. I'm moving to liters, so I need to move my decimal one, two, three places to the left. So when I look at my initial problem, which is 68, that has a decimal point at the end. I need to move that decimal three places to the left. So one, two, three, there's my new decimal point. So you see this empty hump, the empty hump gets a zero. So my final answer is 0 .068 liters for the first one. Now I'm going to go centimeters to milliliters. Again, you might always want to start with, well, if you have your uh, sheet next to you, you're good. Um, but this one in here is always your unit. So in this case, we are talking about meters. And the rest of these, these are all your uh, prefixes. Okay, so we're starting with centimeters, which is here. And we want to move to millimeters, which is right one place. So my decimal is going to go right one place. So I start with my number, 3,214, decimal point at the end, and I need to move it one place to the right. So one place to the right, there's my new decimal point, in the hump comes a zero. So my final answer is 32,140 millimeters. Number three, again we've got K-H-D-A, this time we're talking about grams, D, C, and M. Okay, we're starting in kilograms. That's here. I want to go to grams. One, two, three places to the right. So my decimal is going to move three places to the right. So if I start with 48 with a decimal point at the end, I'm going to take that decimal and go one, two, three places to the right. And in those empty humps, go zeros. So I end up with 48,000 grams. And that should make sense, right? Kilograms are bigger. So if I'm breaking up these big chunks into a lot of smaller chunks, I'm going to have a lot more of them because I'm breaking them down smaller. Uh, back to meters. So I still have got K-H-D-A. In this case, we're talking about meters, D-C, and millimeters. Where do I start? Starting in millimeters. That's here. Going to meters. One, two, three places to the left. So I've got my 126 with my decimal point at the end, and I'm moving my decimal one, two, three places to the left, new decimal. So my answer is 0.126 meters. Kilometers to meters, so I'm going um, K-H-D-A, we're in meters, D-C-M. I'm starting in kilometers, moving to meters, one, two, three. So decimal goes right three places. I start with just a 93 with a decimal at the end. One, two, three, goes three humps, and I end up with 93,000 meters. You notice that um, kilometers to meters and kilograms to grams, exactly the same process uh, because of the decimal system. And the last one here, we're going to go liters to milliliters. So if I've got K-H-D-A-M, Excuse me, um, what do we got here? D, C, M. So, I'm starting in liters. Why did I put an M? We're not in meters. Goodness gracious. We're in liters. Okay, so we're starting in liters. We're going to milliliters. So, one, two, three to the right. So, 61 liters, one, two, three decimals to the right with three zeros in those humps, and I end up with 61,000 milliliters.